Hello student, welcome to today's session. So yesterday I was reading one book where I found very interesting question based on the topic of electrochemistry and ionic equilibrium. These chapters are considered to be heavy chapters of physical chemistry and if in case you would get some exposure solving the question relating to the topics of both that both these heavy chapters that that would really strengthen your physical chemistry. The questions which I found are not very heavy. These are very easy crisp questions can be done by many of you orally. But the, how do you get that the solution of that answer uh, is a important discussion. So here comes the question. So the examiner is asking at T Kelvin the pKW of water is given as 14 and they are asking what is the SRP of this reaction. This is the one question which you have to address with. Second question they are asking that at T Kelvin pKW of water is 14 then which among the following statement is correctly written. So they are talking about the temperature, they are also talking about SRP of water and they are also talking about pKW and pKA. So before, although all of these terms you are quite aware of, at times you would find that you are not having the clarity. So after the discussion of this uh, particular topic for 2-3 minutes, you would get to see a good amount of clarity. So first let me talk about the discussion of the water itself. Water is a weak electrolyte which can undergo self-dissociation. Now what does it mean that if in case you have a glass of water, in that glass of water what are the entities actually there in that water? You would find some amount of water as a liquid pure and some water molecules, this lone pair of this one of, uh, one of the water molecule would abstract H positive from the other one resulting in the formation of H3 positive and OH negative. This is what you call it as self dissociation. So along with this pure water, you also would see some cations of H3O positive and OH negative that is the hydroxyl ion and this particular dissociation is a endothermic delta H for this ionization is uh, endothermic that it, it would require heat to do the dissociation. So this is called as self dissociation but this self dissociation is not very large it is it, the amount of H3O positive and OH negative present in the liquid water is very very less so it is too less uh, but we have to take into consideration the magnitude of that. Now what? how, how do I write this equilibrium constant? So uh, this 2 moles of water and this is H3O positive into OH negative and now I can write the equilibrium constant as H3O positive into OH negative divided by water liquid to the power 2. Now at times people feel little confused with that why we have written as water liquid. What does it mean? What is the meaning of this? So when I talk of uh, uh, molar concentration of pure water, this is the scare bracket tells about the molar concentration. Now what is molar concentration? When we talk about molar concentration of water, what exactly do I mean by it? I am going to say that the concentration of pure liquid, pure liquid or pure solid remains constant during the progress of the reaction. It would not be changing. The concentration of pure liquid or pure solid would always remain constant. Uh, now the point is, if I have to talk about the concentration of water, how do I get it? So it is simply like this. If I would assume that at, uh, uh, at some temperature, the density of water, if I say the density of water is 1 gram per ml. So what does it mean? If I have given you mass of water as 100 grams if I would say uh, or 1000 gram, 1000 gram of water is being given to you. That 1000 gram of water would definitely be occupying 1 liter because its density is 1 gram per liter. Now if I have to write the molar concentration, molar concentration means molarity. Molarity is being shown uh, in a way of scare bracket. So what is molarity? Moles per liter. So 1000 grams divided by 18, 18 liters molar mass. So you would get the moles and these moles are present in one liter. Moles dissolved in one liter is molarity. So this comes out to be 55.5 molar moles per liter. So this the molarity of pure water is now this molarity of pure water would remain constant during the progress of reaction. What the concentration of H3O positive and OH negative would change with change in temperature. Otherwise at a particular temperature the concentration of H3O positive and OH negative also would remain constant and that of water always would remain 55.5. This is first discussion which you should always uh, keep it in mind. Now the point is that how do we write this statement of the equilibrium constant. So we write Kc is equal to H3O positive equals 
into OH negative aqueous and then we wrote H3 H2O liquid to the power 2. So if now I just would multiply it by 55.5 to the power 2 which is equal to H3O positive into OH negative aqueous. Now this particular e equilibrium constant got multiplied by the concentration of pure liquid water which would remain constant during the equilibrium. Now the point is this, this magnitude or this entity we would refer to it as ionic product of water Kw which is equal to H3O positive into OH negative and this particular value has a magnitude 10 raised to the minus 14 at 298 Kelvin. This is experimentally found that you would get this much of value. What does it mean? That for a neutral water at 25 degrees centigrade, a neutral water would have H3O positive equal to OH negative, which is equal to 10 raised to the minus 7 moles per liter. So, uh, in one liter of water, you hardly would have this much moles of H3O positive and OH negative and they are equal and this is what you call it as kw and also we know that if if in a way i just would mark it like this that pkw is equal to minus log of kw which in a way becomes log 10 to the minus 14 is equal to 14 so this comes out to be 14 so pkw of water at 25 degree centigrade at 298 kelvin pkw of water comes out to be 10 to the minus 14 and if you increase the temperature or decrease the temperature because this dissociation of water as I said is a endothermic process it can increase or decrease. Now if in case you increase the temperature if the temperature is increased if the temperature is increased if the temperature is increased this equilibrium shift forward equilibrium shift forward because the extra heat is going to get consumed to shift this equilibrium forwards as a consequence the kw would increase and pkw would decrease this always you have to remember and if the temperature is decreased the equilibrium shift backward and in that case every sign would be the reverse way kw would decrease because less ions would be there and pkw would increase so this also you always have to remember now what is the difference between when you talk of pka of water this you have used number of times in organic chemistry also but many of times I have seen people are not aware of the fact that how do we get this value. So here I am going to consider this water as an asset. If I would consider this water as an asset, so what does it mean? It is going to lose H positive and would produce OH negative along with it. And at 25 degree centigrade, we said that H3O positive equal to OH negative which is equal to 10 SO minus 7 at 25 degree centigrade. So when I am considering one molecule of water as an acid, then I am supposed to write its Ka. So the Ka is H positive into OH negative upon water. Here you would not get that scare. That scare would not come here because you are talking of Ka. You are considering water as an acid. So this into this gives you 10 SO minus 14 divided by 55.5. So this value comes out to be 0 0.018 into 10 s power minus 14, which in a way becomes 1.8 into 10 s power minus 16. So this is the value of Ka. Now we are supposed to say here pKa. So the pKa becomes minus log 1.8 into 10 s power minus 16. So this in a way becomes 16 minus log 1.8, which in a way becomes 15.7. So there are two terms came. PKW which is very often very aggressively you are using at different uh, different uh, for different numerical purposes and also you would get to see the PKA of water that is 15.7 and this is being specified at a temperature of 298 Kelvin. So let me address the first question and if or, or the second question first. So when we talk of uh, PKW of water as 14 so that means this is at 298 Kelvin. So these two statements are wrong in a way. Now the third statement they are talking of SRP of water and which is negative of SOP of uh, water. This is also very important discussion. So before I go into that let me see the D option. Uh, when T is 298 Kelvin PKW and PKA of water are unequal. So this in a way is a correct statement because this was 15.7 
and this was 14. So this you always have to remember. Now we have to also discuss this part, which is a very, very interesting part. And that is in a way is the first question which we are referring here. So let me discuss that and uh, conclude it. Uh, when you talk of SRP of water, what does it mean? SRP of water is this. This statement, if I would write, water takes an electron, changes to hydrogen plus OH negative. Now, what actually has happened? So, this is in plus 1 oxidation state. This is in minus 2. This is in 0. This is minus 2. This is plus 1. So, one of the hydrogen has undergone reduction because its oxidation, uh, its uh, oxidation state has decreased so this is the the hydrogen which underwent reduction is present in water so we will be saying this is the reduction potential of water the reduction potential of water you always have to remember has a value 0.826 volt this is the value which you would get for the reduction potential of water as to be 0.826 and that for when I talk of oxidation of water, how what does it mean? Oxidation of water. This hydrogen is already in plus one oxidation state, and this is in minus two oxidation state. Who is un, who would be go, undergoing oxidation? If I have to do the oxidation of water, so it would be this way: that two H positive plus uh, half oxygen plus two electrons. This is what you call it as oxidation of water where it is water is changing into oxygen because this oxygen from minus 2 goes to the 0 so if it goes from minus 2 to 0 obviously it is going to lose electron so make it a point generally people have this area of confusion that if i will say copper 2 positive plus 2 electron changes to copper versus copper changes to copper 2 positive plus 2 electron here if i have to write this is a reduction potential of copper which in a way is 0.34 volt and when I talk of this way the oxidation potential is minus 0.34 volt so generally we will say that reduction potential is a negative of oxidation potential but this statement is valid if the species which are there on the reactant side and product side are exactly the same when you swap the reaction when you reverse the reaction if you swap the reaction and you would get the same entities then this is valid but not in the case of water because here I am saying the oxidation potential of water is to be minus 0.826 and that of the, uh, this is the reduction potential and if you talk of oxidation potential, this is minus 1, 2, 3 volt. It is minus 1.23 volt. So the oxidation potential and reduction potential of water are not same because the re reactant and product on swapping are not the same one. This is very, very important. Generally, people are not very clear with it. As I am saying that, uh, sometimes very simple things we use a lot but we are not having that clarity into that particular discussion so that in a way shows that this statement is also wrong the SRP of water is not a negative of SRP of SOP of water so this D answer is the right one now I already have solved this particular question that at when the PKW is 14 so this value is happens to come out to be minus 0.826 uh, volt somewhat about this value this is the answer now the question here is if you have remembered it it's fine nothing wrong in it but how do you get this value is also a very interesting discussion let me do it in a speedy way and then we will conclude today's session now how do you get for this so if i would write dissociation of water like this so here you have to write it like this and if I just would write H3O positive takes one electron changes to half H2 and water and along with it if just like the Hess's law in the thermochemistry you want to make a given reaction the given reaction is this I just would want to make this reaction and I am going to use the above two reaction to make this particular uh, statement so I shall be getting this one. So just see into it that if reaction 1 and reaction 2 are added, am I getting the reaction 3? I am perfectly right. So if I just would uh, do it hurriedly that one of the water got cancelled here and H3O also got cancelled here. So one water is left and that is this water. Water plus electron because electron is also there gives me hydrogen and OH negative. Now simply I just have added the two equation to get me the required equation. 
now how you go for it now now here is a important viewpoint which you always have to remember so if i would write uh, because um, e not cannot be added but definitely you can add or subtract delta g not so if i would write delta g not 1 for this delta g not 2 for this and delta g not 3 for this so what i am saying is delta g not 3 must be equal to delta g not 1 plus delta g not uh, g not 2 so this is what you always have to remember so what i did is i just have wrote two equations and from that two equation i created the third equation and now I am saying that uh, during this uh, uh, this this uh, uh, addition of first and second, delta G1 naught and G naught 2 can be added to give you the last equation. Is it okay? So how to write this one? So this value is, uh, this can be written as minus, sorry, it can be written as, just hold on, I can write it as minus RT ln KW. Uh, that is the ionic product of water and for this I can write it would be minus n n here is 1 so I can directly write 1 here uh, just for simplicity and here you would get with f e naught h2 and this is uh, uh, I may say it like this h positive into so this is the uh, reduction potential of hydrogen that is reduction potential of hydrogen and this value in itself is zero standard reduction potential of hydrogen electrode is is said to be zero and last equation which we get is minus this again is one f e naught water h2 this is what we are supposed to find so what i just am using here is delta g naught is minus n f e naught this is the equation which i am using here so using this what I would get here is with that I would get minus uh, uh, E or minus if I have to write just hold on it is giving me trouble delta G naught 3 is equal to delta G naught 1 uh, G naught 1 plus delta G naught 2. So here I just would get minus N F E naught H2 and this is what you call it as minus RT ln KW and this is your minus N F E naught H positive H2. So this I am referring it to as this is 1, this also was 1 and just would divide whole of this equation by NF minus NF. What I am uh, arrived at, I would get this entity as my answer minus is also being omitted rt f ln kw and this value i said it as zero so this entire equation becomes zero so you are left with this equation now you have to solve this so what i would get with water h2 here you would get with rt n f uh, this is ln kw which can now be written as 2.303 rt f log base 10 kw and this term if you add 298 kelvin here and this value is 8.314 and just faraday's constant you also know 96500 now if you add all of these values this would give you 0 0.059 log base 10 kw so on solving this particular thing what i would get here is e naught water h2 gives me 0 0.059 log 10 raised to the power minus 14 so which in a way becomes 0 0.059 into 14 uh, minus 14 so this would give me minus 0 0.826 volt so this is the answer for that particular discussion so i hope you have enjoyed today's session although the things are very very uh, crisp simple which we frequently are using but after the discussion you are able to get that how do you see these values being coming in the uh, data that how do you get these values thanks a lot have a nice day stay safe and take good care of yourself